Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So last week we started the flat versions of all the basic major chords and we started off with the A flat chord. Now today we are going to do the B flat chord. And last week I said that it's hard for us to start from the most common position for the chord. Uh, let's say last week A's chord, today's B, next week D and so on and so forth. It's hard to just move it one fret back on the arm uh, because then we hit the bridge of the arm. Now in the case of the B chord that's actually not true because the first way to play the B chord is actually already in this position and you can check out the tutorial for the B chord somewhere around here. But that's right here with our index finger over the five lower strings on the second fret. And of course, in that position, it is possible to just move one fret back on the arm, which is like this. And we already have the B flat chord. All right. That's very easy because if you already learned how to use these positions, it's piece of cake. All right. So if you don't, you will have to practice to get these chords right. But once you do, it's just you, you are able to play all these chords. It's just a matter of knowledge as well uh, after that. So we have the B flat chord, but there's also another position to play this chord. So let's go to the second position to play the B chord. And that was with our index finger over all the strings on the seventh fret, like this. That's the B chord, like this. All right, but in a different position. Now just move back one fret again and we get the B flat. Okay. And like in last week I said we are going to see similar patterns in these, um, in these chords. And similar for this one, the B flat chord should also seem pretty familiar because that's actually also the A sharp chord. You remember when we did all the sharp versions of the chords, then we got to the A sharp version right here. And it's actually the same as the B flat version. That's because it's in between A and B. And I explained in the last video why they have different names for identical positions or identical chords practically. All right. So that's basically it. You could go further up the arm to play it as well, but that's really far up the arm and it's not really practical to use, but you could do that. So that's basically it for the B flat chord. Next week we are going to do the D flat chord. So we skip the C flat chord and like I said in some of the sharp videos as well, I am going to explain that in a future video as well, why we do that. So stay tuned for next week. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. Thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.